Hey guys, tonight I am going to make a great recipe. One of my favorites is bread pudding. So this time I'm going to experiment and I'm going to make it in my pressure cooker. So um, I'm going to take the pressure cooker lid off. I have already ripped up my bread. Now I used croissants this time just for something different. You can really change up and use whatever kind of bread you would like. Um, but you'd like it to sit out for a couple hours. You want it to be kind of staling up. You don't really want soft, fresh bread. <coughs> So, first thing I'm going to do is take one cup of pecans, which is just this size package, and crushed pecans. You don't want to use whole big chunks. And I'm just going to kind of mix them a little bit through the bread. It's all going to mix up at the end anyways. And we're going to set that aside for a minute. So, I am going to use my whip and mix. This has replaced my electric mixer. So I'm going to take that off for just a moment and we're going to crack two eggs. Now when I use my whip and mix, I do like to put the liquids in first, just so you don't end up with any little patches at the bottom of the bowl. So we're going to add two eggs and a quarter cup of sugar. We are going to start with that. Now I'm going to use the first gear on the whip and mix and we're just going to give this a few little turns. So that's nice and fluffy, just how we want it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add some nutmeg. We're going to, I've posted the recipe, but we're going to do an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're going to do three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now this is one of my cinnamon sugar blends. Um, you can of course use just cinnamon and we are also going to do the same three quarter teaspoons of vanilla, Ooh, a little bit extra, there we go, good thing it's only vanilla extract. Now it says just a little pinch of salt, so I'm just putting a little bit in there and one and a half cups of milk. my lid back on there. Perfect. See how quick that was? Now we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, so now that's like a nice frothy milk. So I'm going to grab my spatula here and we are going to let me get that out of the way. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside for a second here. So now we're back to our pressure cooker with the pecans and the uh, croissants in them. We have a container of golden raisins that have been soaking in dark rum for a couple hours now. So as you can see, it's kind of rehydrating the raisins. You don't have to soak them this long. You can soak them for just a few minutes. You can drain the excess rum before you dump it into your bread pudding mixture. You don't want a lot of excess rum. Um, obviously, it'll change the consistency. So I don't have very much excess. So I'm just going to dump it all in there. Now you're gonna give it a little mix, but you don't want all of your raisins at the bottom. So you're just going to kind of pat down so you get some raisins throughout, but don't mix too much. And now you are going to just add this custard-like topping. Now make sure you're hitting all the bread. You want everything to get a little coating of it. We're going to scrape that out there to get all the extra spices. Now, 
because I am me, you don't have to at all. I'm going to take my cinnamon blend because it's a cinnamon sugar blend. And I'm just going to give it an extra little sprinkle over the top. And now I'm going to put my pressure cooker into the microwave for, um, I'm going to start it at 10 minutes and let it depressurize. And then I will come back and show you, I'm going to make the hard sauce to go over top of this. But the hard sauce, to be honest, is very, it's a boring, boring video. It's standing here for five minutes stirring milk until it hardens, thickens with sugar. So I will make that while this is cooking and I will be back to show you guys how it turns out. Hey, I'm back to show you the finished result of the bread pudding. So my pressure cooker is done. I know my pressure indicator is down. So I'm going to pop the lid off. check that out bread pudding is done uh, turning out looks pretty good with the croissants for a change so I am going to hubby is standing here waiting for his chunk of bread pudding so I am going to do that on a plate for him now I did make the hard sauce um, so I'll, it, the recipe is posted so you just boil and then simmer until it thickens and you just kind of drizzle over top. And there you go. Quick and easy bread pudding. Have a great night.